Hello, my little sugar plums and sugar daddies. Welcome to Dash Assault's playthrough of Bioshock. Harry, are you strapped the fuck in? Calm oh, down. <laughs> Jesus, get a little louder. God. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. I like this game. Okay, so I know this is one of your favorite games. A little bit. Um, so I have never seen... Most of this game, I know a little bit about uh, the Big Daddies. I know the ending. I know who the guy is, etc. I've played a little bit of Bioshock Infinite. Yeah, you know nothing about the games. I know who Darth Vader is. I know the <laughs> Death Star gets blown open. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> um, but I haven't actually seen a playthrough. I've gotcha. like, read the wiki. Okay, okay. Yeah, um, so we're just going to hop right into it. And I do know the one thing I want to try out because most people don't do it, is uh, uh, getting all of the power that you can get. Oh, okay. Well, there's a trick to doing that. We get You can't just be powerful. you got to go down the evil route to yeah. be able to do it. So we're going to go ahead and, and see. Ooh. I don't know what the ending is like when you do that, because obviously, I don't know about how you play games, but whenever I do, I'm always like, do I do the evil thing? That sounds cool. Oh, no, I'm the hero, so I guess I'll do the nice thing. But next time I play, I'll yeah. do the evil thing. And I just never play games over. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I do the exact same thing. Yeah, when even we... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start now. But even when we fir uh, first played... Uh, like, Fallout, we're like, yeah, man, we're going to go edgy this time. We're going to go... We're going to make sure that... Uh, we're going to be thieves, we're going to be murderers, we're yeah. going to go down the evil route, we're going to find out all this other content. Mm -hmm. Hour in. Save the puppies! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't mm -hmm. blow up Megan Todd, there's all these nice people here! Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. So, I, I have the same problem. Though, Fallout, actually, they funny you mentioned me. Fallout. Son, you're special. What? You were born to do great things. I think it's just there's no subtitles for this one. This is bullshit. <laughs> you know what? They were right. Oh, I never noticed it said, would you kindly there. It's like, would you Clever. kindly not open? Uh, not that that's important at all. No, um, not at all. Look, people, if you don't know some of the Bioshock spoilers, I hate to break it to you, we're going to cock tease it the entire way through. Yes. Um, shit, what was I saying? Oh, that's good. Oh, uh, Fallout. Yeah, Fallout. Yeah, <laughs> I've actually gone through now. I've played Fallout 3 so many times, I've done like all the iterations of yeah. will they, won't they, and then he murders them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> My favorite is Moraira coming back as a ghoul and being like not pissed at all. She's like, oh, I guess everyone's dead. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Research must continue. Yeah, really. Moira was a kind of like crisis opportunity kind of person. She's like, well, I don't have a home and... You know, all of my precious skin has been cinched off, but hey, there's a lot more things I could do now with my life. It's like, you know what? More people should think like that, okay? Absolutely. Speaking of me, because I'll probably get set on fire here real fucking quick. So something I always wondered uh, about games in general, this actually came up in a discussion I saw recently. Sure. Why does he have water droplets? on the screen, like these are supposed to be your eyes, aren't they? Yeah, he just doesn't blink. I guess. You know, I, I it has always bothered me, especially when it's something more serious than water. Yeah, I guess. Um, but you know what? Honestly, the I think it has to do with the, uh, like it's more immersive Yeah. if there's an effect between like water transition to land, that sort of thing. I agree, so I agree. there's water droplets, because uh, you're in the water. Yeah. And then they'll go away. I mean, like, it doesn't have to be 100% realistic. I agree. Like, uh, sometimes it makes sense. Like, uh, oh, I like it. I never noticed that the drops disappear as soon as you get out of the water. Mm -hmm. uh, and what's down this way? Oh, water. <laughs> hey, more water. Rad. Um, all, leads to go to, all roads lead to Rome. Awesome. But, like, in Metroid Prime, like, whenever Samus would go through anywhere, like, with water or whatnot, when she came out, there was always, like, water that drained down her face. Mm -hmm. That made sense. She's wearing a helmet. Yeah, exactly. That makes total sense. I think they did it in Halo as well, but I never really, like, played a lot of Halo. Yeah, I think I was reading about a game, a game where they actually, um, 
you have to wipe your visor a few seconds after you get Oh, that's cool. I like that. I would like it if they did it with mud. Like you come out and yes, like... Yes, that's exactly what it was. Oh, okay. That's cool. I like that. Ten fathoms. How? I don't know. It's it's <laughs> 43 rods to the sterling. Oh. I don't know. Oh, thank you for... It's like... Uh, did you ever watch 13th Warrior? No. Alright, I love that movie. I really do. It's a great fucking movie. But there's like a point where like there's a guy talking about a dragon. He's like, ah, oh, it's the, the, no, he calls it the fire verm. It's like the fire verm, it comes. Ah, oh, it's whole body wreathed in flame. Long as a hundred sheep. So I'm like, how long has a sheep been a unit of measurement? How come no one fucking told me? Like, you know, it's 12 furlongs. Yeah, oh, of course. You know, it's, it's, God, where are some good old timey measurements? You know, whenever I have to adjust the heat in my house, I always go by joules. So, because I just want to do that math beforehand. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, it's like, okay, I'm not at absolute zero yet. Yes, rapture! It does look... It looks great. Yeah. I mean, there are a lot of jagged edges, um, like hard corners and stuff, which is yeah. kind of like. But you know what? I feel like they use those limitations to make it seem more kind of gothic or, or uh, 40s modern. Oh, definitely. Oh, um, oh, there's a term for it. I mean, it definitely has a little bit of like that Art Deco styling. Hey, Big Daddy. Um, it, I'm sure they will never show up again. Yeah. Right. Uh, but... Oh, good, you can actually get some of Atlas' dialogue here. But, I always, I mean, it, to me it always looked very much like Gotham City. Oh, if If it yeah. was underwater. The, the, the black and white, not black and white, the Batman, Adventures of Batman. Gotham yeah, City, right? yeah. Like, it really, to me, this is like, okay, so this was like, really like the height of industry, I mean, which is supposed to be the thing. Yeah. Um, and I really liked about it. Oh, fun little personal factoid. Uh, speaking of industry. Mm. So there's a big thing of, like, a lot of, uh, one of the main characters in this, Andrew Ryan, was based yes. off of Anne Rand, who, if you don't know who Anne Rand is at this point, she was, like, this diehard capitalist. She wrote a bunch of books and novels, like, I think in, what's it, the 30s? I, I actually have no idea. Okay. So, she did that. Now, here's the thing. I moved back to New York City like eight years ago, and I was on a big, like, I, I, like self-improvement kick. I was like, I want to read more. I want Versus to now, you're just a lazy fucking slob. Of course. <laughs> but hey, I did read some good books and some shitty ones. So, like... She seems what I, nice. Oh, yeah, she's a sweet woman. <laughs> With tell her murder hugs. Tell me about Anne Rand. So, yeah, who's a lot nicer than this lady. Oh, wait, no, this lady's a lot nicer than her. That's what I meant. Go on. So, I was asking people for recommendations in books, and one of the ones that they recommended was uh, Atlas Shrugged. Okay. And they didn't tell me, like, any of, like, the controversy behind it oh, or okay. anything like that. They were just like, oh, like, where did she come from again? Over here? Yeah. They were just like, it'll really kind of challenge the way you look at certain things, like industry and capitalism, da 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 and I'm like, oh, all right, so that's kind of interesting. Let me read it. Mm -hmm. And I did. I read the entire book, except for most of the 60-page speech, because I have shit to do with my life, mm. <laughs> like anything other than reading a 60-page essay. Um, and so... Hey, man. A man commands, a slave obeys. A man chooses. Chooses, thank you. Yeah. Yes. But, oh... There's supposed to be subtitles here. I don't think the subtitles are programmed very well. No, I'm gonna... I'm gonna let it slide. Yeah, I'm gonna check it out as soon as we get through here. Oh, now they're here. That is weird. Yeah, it's okay. That happens with a lot of games when you have lots of sub See, like, why subtitles? Oh, whatever. I'll let it go. Yeah, I mean, fuck it. Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll make sure that the sound is high enough for you to hear it. Um, we're not your... You, we're not your property. Let it end. Let us ascend. Oh, that's kind of an interesting little... Oh, so things seem to have gone swimmingly in Rapture. Oh, yeah, it's really nice. The great chain is guided of our hand? 
by our hand. By our hand. Oh, it's by our hand. Okay. Weird angle that I meant then. Mm. So, so I read it. I've read the whole book, and um, I have to say that I was there was one thing about it that I found incredibly interesting because it answered a question for me. Uh, and that question, ah, that's awesome. Because at the time I was wondering, I'm like, could you have a belief system that, like, or is there a belief system? I can say that I just do not believe at all to any degree. Because I had read a bunch of stuff about religion and Eastern philosophy and all this other stuff, and there was always parts I agree with. There always parts. Oh fuck me! Yeah. Yeah, really. What Apparently asshole. you're impervious to fire. For right now, yes. So, it's why I was proud that I read At uh, Atlas Rock because I found that, oh, fuck me, that there is a belief system out there that I find zero merit in, and Anne Brand showed that to me. Oh, well, that's always good to know. Yeah. I mean, hey, you know, sometimes you get answers to those kinds of questions. Oh, I need a first aid kit, or something else. Oh, time to open up the garbage. <laughs> nope. Uh, won't let me, faster. All right, potato oh, chips. Well, that doesn't heal you up too much, but no. But you find like little bits here and there and everywhere. Oh, nice. Yeah. So if I scratch so it, the garbage. You, do you eat things automatically? It looks like. Yeah. Though you can keep Eve, the thing that kind of wow. powers your magic. Wow. Ah. That's, that's very humble of him. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Look at my industry dick. <laughs> Mankind salvation? That's a little... <laughs> that's a little crazy. Well, yeah. Not... Oh, plasmids. Yay! So what are pla plasmids or magic? Plasmids are, like, this game's bullshit science magic. Uh -huh. Like, they actually explain where it comes from, and it's a little funny, because you're like, really? They could have come up with something a bit better than that. Oh, check it out. It's glowing. Um, what do you... Dude, what are you doing? prison tats, hand-me-down clothes. Dude. <laughs> Jack is a fucking junkie. He's got a syringe. He just like, <laughs> you have no idea. You just come across a dirty syringe. You're like, you know what? <laughs> just jam this shit right in there. Let's let's do it. Yeah, and what not not slowly either. Like, just do or die, man. Slam right into the arm. Jesus. Oh. Uh. Little fish looks like he just had his chariot popped. This little fish looks like he just had his cherry popped. Oh god, the splices Wonder are so creepy. Got some Adam on yeah, so Adam is the thing that allows them, like the allows the people of Rapture to give themselves genetic powers. Okay, so the Adam is that was the red stuff. Yeah, their Adam is the red stuff. And that's like, they all come in like specific abilities. Like, you'll always see a, a machine for Adam. Eve is like the blue syringes, and that that's basically like your magic. Like, that okay. replenishes it. Oh, it's your magic meter. Yeah. But there's a finite supply in Rapture. That's a thing that they go, like, they kind of mention. And that's why all the crazy junky splicers are constantly looking for it. Hmm. So. Oh, it's a big daddy, and oh, God, they're so creepy. It's an angel. Ugh. I can see light coming from his belly. Mr. Bubbles! He's still <laughs> it's alright. I know he'll be an angel soon. I know. They, they, I know they explain a bunch of stuff about the little sisters here. In the second game, it's even crazier. Because they really go into like the background story of like the little sisters. And it's like super you tragic. Like First time playing well. with the real kick from you. Oh. Like a okay, on that there. note... Um, we will see what you do with this crazy science magic in the next episode of Bioshock. That sounds good. All right, see you then.